What's up guys, it's Chris here. The last few weeks we have been traveling quite a bit. We made our way down to the Pilansberg National Park where we got held up in traffic by a huge male African elephant and got to spend some quality time with a white rhino and her young baby calf. We then made our way up to the Drakensberg where we hiked for two days, slept in a cave and climbed three kilometers in altitude to the top of Tegela Falls, which is the tallest waterfall in the world. So as you know, being able to generate a passive income to be able to experience the things the world has to offer for us is one of the reasons why I invest. Now, I have always had a passion for finance and investment, and I think the best way to learn and to be a better investor is to share your stories and experiences, and at the same time, learn and listen from others who are on the same journey as you are. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through my entire list of passive income generating assets, as well as my active side hustles to be able to make an extra 3,000 Rand a month or 36,000 Rand a year in income. So we'll go through each and every investment like shares, stocks, ETFs, unit trusts, real estate, tax-free cash, interest index funds, and even my international portfolio in the UK and the US. But on top of that, I'll also be sharing the income I make from my side hustles and how I keep track of everything in my Excel spreadsheets to track my wealth and income and at the end of the video we'll be seeing at 31 how close or far I am to financially retiring. Let's get started. One thing I worry about is that when people watch these videos, they might be thinking that one day someone just woke up and had the portfolio they have now, which obviously is farthest from the case. Just like everyone else, there was a point where we started from zero and any of the knowledge we do have comes from years of taking an interest and learning the world of business and the financial markets. And if you don't believe me, luckily I've been tracking my portfolio for over 10 years now. So you can see here that in 2012, I had saved just 11,000 Rand and only made 900 Rand for the whole year and I was 21 at the time. Then as I learned more from other people and I started to save and invest, I started growing my income until where in the last year I made 30,000 Rand in income with a portfolio of around half a million Rand. But for 2023, we should make a little bit more, which you'll see now. So wherever you are on this graph, keep going and keep learning and you'll be making your way upward. But with that said, let's jump straight into the numbers to show you how I make 3,000 Rand a month from passive income and side hustles. First things first, this spreadsheet here is the mastermind of my operation and you've seen it in my videos before. I've used it to run my investment business for the last 10 years from zero to half a million and we're going to use it to track the income and expenses from all of my investments. So let's start with a template sheet and add in every investment we have and how much it makes us per year and per month. The first income we have is interest income. This is where we keep cash in high interest bearing accounts that earn us an income every single month. First off, we have our Investec Prime Saver account. In this account, we keep 63,000 Rand and it earns us an interest of 7.25%. So that means we're making a monthly income of 383 Rand. Then we have our Gold Save accounts with Time Bank where we have 85,000 Rand and we earn an interest rate of 7%. So here we're making 501 Rand a month and that's every single month. Then we have our external loan income where we have loaned out 34,000 Rand and we're earning also 7% interest, so that is making us 201 Rand a month. So the grand total of our interest income as a collection of cash and loans comes to an amount of 1,086 Rand income every month. As a quick tip, it's always good to keep a portion of your portfolio in cash and right now when interest rates are so incredibly high, you'll be earning a really good return on your money. Next up, we're going to go through our investments alphabetically. That seems like an orderly way to go through them. So the first alphabetical line item of income is from the main side hustle, which is our AdSense revenue. I've got two monetized YouTube channels, which is the one you're watching now, Casual Cash, and another that follows my other hobby of aquariums. This is an active income as it takes a lot of work to put these together, so that is why it's in the side hustle category. In the decade that I've been making budgets, I'll always try to put in conservative numbers, which means the lowest anticipated number, so you won't likely be disappointed and anything higher is a pleasant surprise. So here we've put in roughly 200 a month for the aquarium channel and roughly 450 a month for casual cash. And because YouTube pays at a 1,000 Rand threshold, we'll be receiving this every two months at an amount of around 1,300 Rand. Next, we're getting into our shares and stocks and the first one up is Capitec Bank. 
For those who don't know, I use Easy Equities as a platform to invest in the stock market simply because it works really well and by far the cheapest option. So if you want to get started with Easy Equities, there's a referral code in the description that will give you 50 Rand to start your journey. So for Capitec Bank, I have 5,700 Rand invested at a dividend yield of 2.3%. So if you wanted to invest in Capitec, for every 100 Rand invested, you'd be making 2 Rand 30 a year in passive income for the rest of your life. And most companies will increase their dividend every year. So for me, that is 135 Rand a year. Next is our core shares S&P 500 index fund. We invest 100 Rand in this every month and we have a smaller 1,500 Rand. This ETF pays us a total of 13 Rand a year and just under 1% dividend income. Then we have Coronation Strategic Income, which is a unit trust that we hold in our tax-free savings accounts. We have 20,000 Rand invested here and it pays us an average of 350 Rand every three months for a total of 1,400 Rand a year. By the way, the January and February columns will show actual dividends so far for this year. So Coronation's income is 7% per year. Up next is our Fairbest Property B shares. We have 6,800 Rand invested here. This real estate investment trust or REIT pays us an annual income of 974 Rand, which is a whopping 14% dividend income, one of the highest in our portfolio. Then we have First Rand or FNB with 6,400 invested. Another tip, if you wanna see a company's historical and upcoming dividends, go to Morningstar.com, search the company and click on dividends. It will show you all the normal and special dividends then just multiply the amount by how many shares you own. It's that easy. So first round is 400 Rand a year, which is 6.2% dividends. Now for our call option ETFs. Here is the Global X NASDAQ 100 covered call. This American ETF is in US dollars and it pays you income of around 12% a year every single month. We invested $348 or 6,200 Rand. It does fluctuate, but on average it should pay us 66 Rand every single month. Then our British financial share HSBC, where we invested 243 pounds or 5,200 Rand. This company pays its dividends at 236 Rand, so around 4.5%. Our second core option ETF from America is the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income. We invested $329 or 6,000 Rand. On average, this pays us 60 Rand a month for a dividend yield of 11%. Then Lloyds Bank in the UK, where we have 250 pounds or 5,400 Rand. This bank pays 293 Rand total for the year at 5.5% dividends. Back to Nedbank. So with just a 6,700 Rand investment, Nedbank is paying about 8% dividends for 535 Rand a year. For a blue chip stock, that is a great dividend income. Next up, I always apologize in advance, but this is our mystery share. It's a mystery because I work with them in the real world, so don't want to give away any information. But we have an amount of 32,000 Rand in this company, so naturally the dividend is a bit larger with a total of 4,500 Rand at a dividend yield of 13%. I often get asked in the comments, what investments pay you monthly? And most often I refer to the prescient income provider. This is a unit trust that usually pays us 130 Rand a month for a yearly amount of around 1,500 Rand. The cost was 25,000, but has a nice yield of 6% and a stable unit price. I then have 10 investments that all start with an S. Not sure what that says about me, but let's run through them all before we get to the total amount and I'll be revealing how close that brings me to financial retirement. So there is Sunlum that pays us 550 Rand a year for 8,300 Rand, that's a 6.5% dividend. Satrix Property Fund pays roughly quarterly for a total of 690 Rand. With us investing 6,500, that's a whopping 11%. Satrix Reedway Global Property Fund pays four times a year for around 500 Rand on an 8,800 Rand investment. That's a dividend of 5.2%. Satrix Top 40, we have a smaller 1,600 Rand investment and it will pay us 55 Rand this year at 3.5% dividends. Then our Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF in America, paying 200 Rand a year at a somewhat smaller 3.7%, but that is only $300 or 5,400 Rand. Simon Property Group in the US brings us 717 Rand a year, so we invested $570 here or 10,000 Rand. That means it's paying a very nice 7% dividend yield right now. SSC is our British renewable energy company, paying 648 Rand a year, that is a 5.4% return annually on 550 pounds or 12,000 Rand. Standard Bank is one of the most recommended shares right now by experts that I've seen. So we're receiving 516 Rand a year off a 7,000 Rand investment, so that's 7.3% dividends and it's shown great share growth the last six months. 
Store Age, once again, is one of my favorites because we've invested about 17,000 Rand in this company, but we're also receiving 1,600 Rand a year from income. So if you like 9.5% dividend income returns, this is a great company to look at. The last S is our Signia FTSE 100, another index we invest 100 Rand in a month, and it pays us 31 Rand from our 1,600 Rand we have invested in it. So a roughly 2% dividend. And the very last share we have in our Easy Equities portfolio is the American ETF called the Vanguard S&P 500 growth fund, which is very tech heavy. I expect the share price to grow well in time, which is why I invested $150 or 2,700 Rand, but at a yield of just under 1%, it's only bringing in 23 Rand. So those are our investments, but there is one last side hustle that you probably didn't know. You see, I also have a few short books that I self-publish on Amazon, and whenever people buy them, I get a small amount of royalties. So this year I have made 708 Rand in publishing royalties and to be conservative, like I said, we'll estimate that there won't be any more sales for the year. So that's 708 Rand in total. And that brings us to the total amount of our income. You can see here on the sheet that every column is automatically added up to show the total for each month at the top and the total for each investment for the year on the right. And right here we have the total for the year for all of our investments, cash and side hustles, coming in at a very nice 38,141 Rand for 2023 and an average of 3,178 Rand per month. Now the expenses are negligible. We have some estimated annual returns, the Easy Equities cash management fee, the monthly amount for Google One Suite, which is extra online storage for videos, and the VAT. Now for VAT, some dividends like real estate dividends are exempt, but otherwise I usually expense the VAT to the balance sheet because most of the time I use dividends to reinvest back into shares and it comes off of the new asset values. But you can also fill in your VAT during the year to get a real-time look at your expenses, which will automatically add up here and show you your total net income for the year. Net income being your income minus expenses, basically your profits. And so there you have it, each and every one of my investments, side hustles and cash accounts that bring me in a bit over 3,000 Rand in passive and active income throughout the year for a total of 38,000 Rand. And what that means is if you take a general comfortable amount to retire on, which would be where your income meets your expenses, then on 10,000 a month, we are 30% towards retiring. On 20,000 a month, we are 15% towards retiring. And 30,000, we are 10% towards being able to fully financially retire. And you can do the math for whatever level you feel you would need in order to fully financially retire, which is something I'm also looking to build into the sheet in time. Now talking about the spreadsheet, we've just launched a new Patreon page where you can download the spreadsheet to use for yourself to manage your investment journey. It is the same one that I've been using for over 10 years and you can fill in each investment you own and track your income, expenses and your net worth as an investor towards whatever goal it is you might want to reach. You'll also get access to my live day-by-day -day share trades, portfolio updates as well as some tips and tricks I've learned to be a better investor. Lastly, on both tiers, you'll also get access to one-on-one Q&As, so you can ask me any question you want and I'll do my best to answer or to find the answer. So if you want to join the Casual Cash Club and download the sheet for yourself, you can head over to the link in the description. But otherwise, guys, that is it for today's video, where we take you through our entire income portfolio, where we make up 38,000 Rand a year and how close it is bringing us to financial retirement. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time, as always, on Casual Cash. Cheers.